getting into physical shape takes time and effort and there's pressures and hard work and sweat, but there's a result in the end. I know this recently. I have almost never worked out in my whole life, but I need to lose some pounds and I need to get stronger. And so my wife has especially helped me to have the discipline to do the things that I need to do to lose a few pounds and to feel stronger and actually be stronger. And uh, it, it's taken a lot of effort, but I'm so thankful over time that that's happened for me. Now my back doesn't hurt so much and you probably have some of these ideas or goals or things you're working on as well, but it's not easy. It's the same thing for our spiritual life. You know, in the Bible, Jesus' followers, after Jesus had been crucified, but risen from the dead and ascended into heaven, and the Holy Spirit of God came onto his followers, these disciples of his, they were facing trials and tribulations and difficult days, uh, and they were actually facing the same opposition that Jesus faced. The same people that crucified Jesus were bothering them and harassing them and killing them. And they said, we've got to get strong. We have to be spiritually disciplined to be strong, to face these things. And this is what they said to do, to get strong. These are the exercises, the practices they need to engage in to become spiritually strong. Listen to what he says. He says, finally, brothers and sisters in Philippians 4, whatever is true, whatever is noble, whatever is right, whatever is pure, whatever is lovely, Whatever is admirable, if anything is excellent or praiseworthy, think about such things. Whatever you've learned or received or heard from me or seen in me, put it into practice and the God of peace will be with you. And this is what he says to do, to exercise your spirit. Think about such things that are a good like that. And whatever you're involved with, you can say to yourself, is this good? Is this noble? Is this pure? And if you find that what you're engaged in is not, then give that up and think on those things and you will find the peace of Christ. I pray you'll find it and grab it and hold it and exercise it today in Jesus' name. Mm -hmm.